Hello, Hi-Fi people. Kelvin here from London. Trying to tell you what Hi-Fi sounds good and what doesn't sound good, what's worth buying, and how you can actually, particularly with a speaker like this, you can kind of see what it's going to sound like. I mean, you, honestly, you know, you can. Uh, you might already be saying, yeah, I know that. But <laughs> I'll tell you what I know, because when I look at that, I get a good idea of what it's going to sound like, and I'll explain that to you. Let's go through, though, in detail what we've got here. Uh, Morden Short MS400, yes. That's an EMI base driver. Cole's Super Tweeter at the top, which you find on the Spender BC1s. I mean, that's always great. It's a Super Tweeter. I actually don't know what that mid-range is. Might be peerless. It's not a mid-range, sorry. I mean, I would say, think of this as a tweeter, really it probably comes down a bit lower in the crossover frequency than a normal tweeter because it's got a bigger dome and it can do lower sounds because of that but really it's a tweeter and a super tweeter these speakers have been rewired recapped so it's given them a new lease of life uh, by ben uh, at freaking audio in brighton um so if they're not the original, you know, you know, I'm sure they've got their they're, they're sounding a brighter and more sparky than uh, the originals would. So how can you tell? This is what I think, right? I look at these speakers and I go, OK, I've got a big dome, another dome. It's going to have lots of lots of it's going to fill the air with top end. You know, it's going to you've got two drivers. You're going to have a lot of air you know the air will be alive and it is and you've got a big paper cone now a big paper cone is quick generally speaking paper is light and quick also when you look at these you look at the edge and you see well it hasn't got a, a big you know a round whatever you call it you know the rubber surround so this cone is not doing big movements yeah so you know also it's going to be lively but it's not going to go down super low not with the real low notes yes but it's a big cone and it will give you a lot of general sound you're going to get a lot of sound because you know how do you make sound by moving air and you know that's what the cones do so you know when you get little drivers how much air can it move you know so this is moving a lot of air generally giving a big airy detailed sound now a few interesting other points I will, uh, I will do the sound properly in a minute so this box veneer I always like to see veneer you know that's kind of a not a cheap thing to do it keeps the box taut I would say and it's veneered at the back too Ben's put new speaker terminals on you know which is nice but it's actually you know by the time this is like 25 mil before you hit the baffle the internal volume actually isn't huge you know i mean this is the old-fashioned shape really which you know maybe it's coming back but you know a lot of speakers were used to be wider than they were deep and that's kind of reversed why is that i don't know if it's about sound it might be about you know what looks good in a living room or what the fashion is the other thing i just want to quickly say is you know you see this edge here which is like 25 millimeters sticking out obviously you've got uh grills that go on here people talk a lot about oh this edge is a terrible edge and it, you'll get all these diffractions or whatever it is they say i i don't really buy that in great detail anyway I mean, I, 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 I can't do it, but part of me thinks, I, I'd like to cut this edge off. I'm going to doubt you'll, you'll hear any difference. I'm, it may be a minute, but I'm, I'd say it was pretty pretty low differences. They, you know, it's one of these things they're always talking about in speakers. They're always trying to find something to talk about to tell you why it's good, you know. And some of these speakers don't get any better. Quite frankly, the more I think about it, particularly budget speakers i don't really know why they're not better than they used to be 
because they don't seem to be building on knowledge. So it, it's kind of mysterious to me. Anyway, anyway, what else? Thing I would definitely say with these speakers is I just lifted them up at the front a bit, you know, just about, I'd, pr I'd put a book under it, frankly, 15 mil, because really this driver is very close to the floor, yeah? And so, you know, some of the mid-range coming out of here, it's kind of disappearing into the carpet, particularly if you've got carpet. And I, I would do that a lot with floor, sanding, standing speakers, particularly old ones like Kef Concertos and stuff like that. Just angle it up a little bit. And then this tweeter is also firing, you know, up into the room instead of being, you know, half a meter off the ground. So, you know, just, just even five mil there and you'll find you get more mid-range, you get more treble, the mid-range gets a bit cleaner. You're just getting more of those frequencies hitting your ear instead of disappearing into the carpet. So actually, I forgot to say, these have been recapped and rewired, but I have an old baffle here of an original one, which I'll just show you for fun. So, you know, nice big magnet. You definitely want to see that, you know. That's a really good sign, nice big magnet. This is an EMI driver. And I don't know whether you could see, but the center of this cone is actually plastic. That's to keep it more rigid. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna do the sound properly. Go through some songs, one sec. Okay. Generally, it's big, it's airy, it's quick. The bass doesn't go super low, but there is lots of large, you know, here's the thing, this is moving air. So it's got a big sound. It's got big, it's got cone space. So you're getting a big sound out of here. And a lot of the, not low bass, but most of the bass is pokey, tight, taut even, yeah? So what I mean there is, this is a closed box also. They generally make tighter bass. It's a sealed box of air, no port. So that driver is kind of pulling against some resistance because the, the box only has, is sealed, you know. But uh, yeah, so bass wise, you're getting a lot of like bass drums are real do, do, do. Do, 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 instead of boo, 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 you know that's what I'm, I mean when I say tight bass or taut bass I mean it's doom 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 not boo, boo, boo. you know floppy soft bass it's tight and it's big and there's lots of it and it fills the room uh, it has there are downsides to this speaker uh, so thinking about snare drums yes now you know when you've got a big speaker like that there's basically doing most of the mid-range your snare drums are going to be kind of bigger bigger than they would be with a sort of small speaker and actually bigger than they would be well sort of on a three-way because on a three-way the, the the small mid-range driver is really doing the mid-range but what i'm saying is you get the big the mid-range here is quite big, yes? It's quite big and it's not, like a snare drum is not super cutting on here because that crack of the snare is being done by this great big cone. And in an ideal world, you do it with a small cone that can move super fast, yeah? So just, uh, just to give you the picture there, but let me uh, do a song. I did Angelou, uh, which is Van Morrison. Pokey bass drum, pokey, nice tight bass drum, strings, nice, big, sharp, quick. Full of, you know, the air is, air is alive with these. His voice, excuse me, Van Morrison's voice, I thought his voice lacked a bit of depth, you know, low end, you know, his voice sounded a little bit higher 
and a little bit it wasn't doing his boy his voice as good as something that would cost a thousand pounds you know or more but uh, you know I'm, I'm giving you the critical details here that's what I'm here to do so yeah his voice was a bit light uh, what did I do gravity Alison Krauss again loads of nice strings strings were great quick very tight lovely vocals just a tiny bit off her voice yes I mean what I'm saying here is like not many speakers get people's voices all right I find the voice the thing that because you know the voice you know whereas an electric guitar it doesn't matter if it's a bit wrong because they could have just moved a setting you know but you know the human voice so it's a that's a real test you know the human voice and I found her, her voice was just a little bit higher again you know just a little bit higher than ideal you know but uh, you know big vintage pretty much kind of vintage-esque sound too you know large warm scale scale yeah I mean that's what you only get when things start moving a lot of air a big sound and a pokey tight bass kind of slightly big mid-range not super cutting and loads of really nice top end detail really a lot of detail you know if you like listening to really detailed stuff like big bands or god knows what but stuff with lots of high-end detail you have a really nice time with these I you know you can still get them uh, and you could probably I mean, I'm sure if you get them or this guy Ben might recap them for you but uh, okay that's it thanks bye for now